Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. How can you say such a thing? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I. I do not know her name. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says! Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing! Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities! Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you, we're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do! <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. Hey, look! There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Clee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. 
rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Clee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition, yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Did you say buried treasure? And she has treasure. Seriously? Clay gets six finger Jose's both for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight, let's go! We're here! This is the place! Look! This is where my huge treasure was buried! And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground! It's... an Abyss Mage! Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about! What's that in his hand? <gasps> my treasure! What? Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! What's an abyss made? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, uh. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> a gateway to a domain! The Abyss Mage must have snuck inside! <sighs> Klee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No! I'm coming with you. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. <laughs> Don't worry. Klee is a big girl. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go! <laughs> you followed me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. But this is as far as you will get. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learn that your little red friend had in her possession the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, wait, don't touch it. <laughs> oh, how you fret now your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol? <laughs> no! I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. This is it. This time, I'm done for. <laughs> Treasure is a 
bum? Pie number one is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and re- Creed? You're here too? I... I turned myself in. Huh? I... My... My bomb. I... I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Cleve, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Why is that? But... But Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity what what i don't get it this was an oversight on my part i did not tell you these things before because you are still young in fact the abyss order is a hostile force in mondstadt which has been unusually active lately aha that's it paimon understands now they were tracking down poor clee because they heard rumors about her treasure just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Miss Honorary Knight, you've gotta come too. Whoopsie doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Cleve, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Cleve? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> Paimon bets Clee must get bored in there all by herself. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Oh, oh, yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. Cree needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jane was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. <laughs> <laughs>